everyone. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Matt Youssef. He's an accounting student, a junior at St. Joseph University in the Philadelphia area. He is one of the scholarship recipient of the PICPA Foundation, which is I am a board member of. And today, Matthew is going to talk to us about the scholarship. And he's also a supplemental instructor, which is very, very interesting. And I want him to talk a little bit more about that later on. But first, about the scholarship, Matthew. How did you hear about the scholarship? Yes. So I heard about the scholarship through my school, St. Joseph's University. Um, they reached out with an email. Um, and then I started receiving uh, more emails from the PICPA about how to apply, what I had to do, um, and stuff along those lines. So it was very easy. Um, it was very easy for me to apply, and I found it very easily. And are you a student member of the AI, uh, PICPA now? I am. I am. Okay. So you do receive an uh, update on a regular basis? Tons of updates, um, tons of good stuff that really has gotten my foot in the door for the accounting world. Excellent. And I encourage everyone who's listening, if you're not a student member, it's free. You just have to enroll with the PICPA and you'll have opportunities for scholarship, uh, connect with employers, having professional activities, so on and so forth. Could you tell us about the process? What was the most challenging thing in the scholarship and, you know, based on your experience? So for me, the scholarship was very, um, just asking about uh, why I think I was worthy of the scholarship. Um, what my plans were for, uh, or what plans I had in the accounting world once I graduated. And it also asked for a letter of recommendation from, uh, from me, but I got a professor at my school to do that. So that was very straightforward. Um, I was very happy with the process um, that the PICPA um, made it out to be because it was very straightforward for me. Um, and yes, yes, a very easy process. Excellent. And you are an accounting major. Could you tell us why you chose accounting? Yes. So I actually chose accounting. Um, there's numerous people in my family, um, uncles, grandfa uh, grandfather, that went into the accounting world. So I was always kind of, I went into college not knowing quite what I wanted to do, but I was also, I was always getting pushed to be accounting. And a, the main reason I chose accounting um, is probably the opportunities I heard it presents itself with. Um, just so much you can do with an accounting major. Um, like, I don't know if I want to be an auditor, go into accounting right away. Um, or, if, or if I want to go into industry, something like that. It's just accounting leaves so many doors open for me, um, which is what I really am excited for being an accounting major. 100%, Matthew. And this is what I hear from all accounting students. And you would learn this as you progress, as you become a senior, as you graduate, as you start to sit for your CPA exam, you will notice the various opportunities, the wide range of opportunities that you have, whether you go into public accounting or in any particular industry. And I know you are a supplemental instructor. That's very interesting. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. So I became a supplemental instructor after my freshman year, where I completed Accounting 101 and Accounting 102. Um, so I completed both those courses um, with a pretty successful grade. So I was asked to be a supplemental instructor. And what I do is I just provide assistance twice a week um, for Accounting 101 and Accounting 102 courses. Um, so I'll, go, I'll sit in on the classes. I'll uh, I'll see what they're, I'll see and hear what they're learning about. And then like, I'd say like 10 to 15 students come each session and we review the material. Um, and I think it really does help the students. And that helps you too, Matthew, as a, as a supplemental instructor, it's going to improve um, your develop communication a better understanding skills. Of Yes, it's going to improve your mm -hmm. communication skills, your presentation skills. So that's a great opportunity, supplemental instructor. Um, you guys heard it from Matthew Ziff, future CPA. I'm going to say future CPA, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure you're going to have those letters behind your name, Matthew. It's just a matter of time. Again, to summarize, if you're not a member, if you're not a student member of the PICPA, you should be to network with others, have benefits like a scholarship, um, uh, interviews, interview opportunities, like for example, soon we're going to have another job fair, virtual job fair. If you are a member, you would receive those emails. Check those emails, connect with other students. And accounting is a great major. Matthew, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. And keep teaching those students, 101 and 102. Those are the two most important courses that's going to set the foundation. And they're always going to remember you. You know that. Even after yes, 20 yes. years, they will remember that you helped them in that course. <laughs> thank <laughs> you so much well. for your time. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, Matthew. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You as well.